Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will be adding a second optical drive to a pre-2008 Mac Pro. We have already shut down, unplugged, and placed our Mac Pro on a static-free workspace. We are now ready to begin. To make room for the second optical drive, we will first need to remove the side access door. To do this, lift the latch located on the rear of the Mac Pro until it locks into the open position. You may then tilt the door forward slightly and remove it. The optical drive bays are located here. Pull the optical tray out part way so that you can unplug both the ATA ribbon and power cable. You are now able to completely remove the hard drive carrier. To remove the bezel, you will need a standard paper clip. Straighten your paper clip so it looks like this. Next, insert the end of the paper clip into the small eject hole in the front of the drive. A simple push will cause the drive tray to open, and if need be, you can pull the tray out a little bit more. On the bottom of the tray are two small tabs. Push forward on the tabs to release the front bezel. Push the tray back in and the drive is ready to install. For installation, Apple has provided four mounting screws. Remove these screws and set them aside. We are now ready to install the drive in the lower bay. Line up the drive and slide it into place until the front of the new drive is even with the old one. Now use the screws you removed earlier to secure the drive into place. Once done, the drive tray is ready to be reinstalled into our Mac Pro. Locate the IDE power cable plugs in the optical drives, as well as the power cable and IDE ribbon in the Mac Pro. Push the power cable firmly into the power plug on both the optical drives and repeat the process for the IDE ribbon. Once connected, slide the drive tray back into place. To close the Mac Pro, align the side door with the bottom of the case, swing the door closed, and push the rear latch downward until it locks into place. 